like something of a curse. Every time I finish a few other non Belen runs, I just always feel like coming back to Belen. Right, train tabard refill bus. Look, I've done a lot of train tabard recently, and I don't think it's that amazing. It does want you to do some pretty specific things, and when you do those specific things well, it's quite solid. But I feel like most of the time you're still just not going to achieve it, so it doesn't particularly matter. That's a lot of bombs. 35 cash, let's keep collecting. I was hoping the fight would go on slightly longer, but that's fine. I mean, it seems fine to me, just going chests. Okay. I mean, I lost nothing, so... That's a sign. It's fine. Uh, the refill buster is actually, like, decent, so... Nice. Free remove is incredible, too. Whoa. Discard stuff. I think I'll pass on that one. Yes, I could duplicate a sphere, but probably not the best idea. All right, we get these guys when we have uh, refill a buster, which should be really good every damage. Just bouncing out, which is very, very rude because that's exactly what I don't want it to be doing. Thank you. One bomb? That is 15 for sure, right? For sure. Wait, I missed. Oh, come on. Oh well. Yeah, it was 15. Definitely shooting this. Pretty good, I managed to minimize my losses basically completely. Oh, completely, wow. Nice. And I even got a lot of cash out of it. Wow. Rewards not expect. Jeez. And that it reward is totally worth it. I literally lost, still in full health. And I have a really, really good passive now. That is actually kind of crazy. Like Primal Frost is one of the best passives in the game. <laughs> uh, as well as uh, Ground Guard is going to be a massive help. Let's hit a few of the bombs, which is generally a bit earlier than what I would usually aim for, but if it works, it works. Boom. 138 cash. Take it. I mean, access to healing is really good, but I don't actually need it yet. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah. well there are our bombs, so great. If we get a refresh at this point, we probably won't take any pinging damage anyway. Oh, Pierce. Totally forgot. Primal Frost is just so, so good. It's going to come in so handy Area 2. And also Area 3. It's just so passive. Kind of blammo. It's almost level 3, you know. 164 cash, very, very decent. Triple by passive or remove. Remove is also extremely valuable. So I'll buy it. That is pretty damn insane. Uh, yes, because if I get a remove, I'm in a really good spot. Oh no, random navigation, where will I go? Yes, and I got the remove. That is pretty insane. Because now every time I shoot my spear, which is basically going to AoE, and then I reload, which deals AoE damage, and I take no damage. Seems like a good deal, huh? I think he attacks every second turn as well, perhaps. So like me doing this completely negates his attacks as well. He's on a, <laughs> a uh, one-shot cycle. Which is very, very handy to know. He is definitely the kind of boss that um, this kind of strategy is weakest against, though. For Area 1. So I do actually have to be slightly careful. I think 
I should still be fine. The filibuster and mind the stuff I'm doing should just constantly tax them. It is a bit unfortunate we have like no kind of extra scaling off of it though, but whatever. I guess I don't really need to be hitting refreshes because I have Refresh here, which was a really good buy on my part. It's a really good passive in a lot of scenarios, and this is one of those scenarios. Yeah, they just multiply, which is cool. Wait. Oh, Cookie! <laughs> wow, our healing is just really, really good, isn't it? We even have one every reload. Do they do damage when you hit them? Yes. So you got cool stuff. You should be in a good enough spot. Why do I want that? I don't see any reason why I want this. Uh, kinetic Meteorite, however. Sounds great. When you have outside refreshing sources, Kinetic Meteorite really flourishes. And we don't even have like fresh bandana or pig bags though. So. Yeah. See my explosive force in the room. Yeah, more like it. Uh, yeah. I'd say this left. literally an AoE. Like, there was an echo there, and I could have definitely picked it up. But in this situation, I didn't think I needed it, so I didn't take it. Level my 155, shuffle orb, and rubble. <laughs> hey, look, it's still pretty tempting, to be honest. But I'll pass. I'll withhold the temptations. I even have a post combat healing if I wanted. Like I'm not in the best spot versus like resistance fight. I'm not in that bad of a spot either. So I am. Oh god, he scales reflex so fast with such a high health pool, which is really unfortunate. Just whittling these guys down, which is great. Because that's exactly what I need to be doing. I didn't feel like I had the cash for double shop, so I decided to just take double elite and then shop. I think it also had another elite attack. Which seems pretty good. Double E or triple E is kind of scary. The chances are that I was resi well resistant to it are probably likely. And I don't have anything that says you beat him yet. I have stuff that says it's less painful. But that doesn't count for much, to be honest. Okay. That is really quite good, honestly. Particularly against one specific boss. Which is not this guy. Hmm. We're not actually in a very good spot against this guy, are we? It looks like we're getting solid damage, but it's not as good as it could be. 300 damage though, that's definitely the kind of numbers I'm needing. Damn, I was really hoping for that crit. Basically just double damage. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I'm getting a lot of damage dealt, which is great. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's unfortunate thing. Oh wait, no, I, I dodged it. Good. Perfect time. I have good recovery though, so I don't need to be too scared. But it's on the unfortunate side, that's for sure. 200 damage shouldn't be too hard. Oh my god, I hit the refresh. No way. Okay, well, I'm there. And then Brusky Knuckles. Seems very, very decent. That way I'm actually scaling per reload. Uh, my shot is looking like this. Hmm. Wow, we're just dead into resistance side, literally, aren't we? <laughs> Seriously. 
What? Well, no. Hold on a second. Okay. I do have a stray jacket. Which I forgot I could have. Uh, which is, I can just full heal when I choose. <laughs> I'm gonna be using that. Because <laughs> I heal one per reload. And I don't take damage during reloads. So. Yeah, let's try not to kill this guy because I need to heal. Because I can't do it against resistance type, but I can do it against shield mage. The good news is I also stack the circle when I do it, so actually I might be able to do it against Shield Mage, but anyway, it begins. Alright, so fortunately enough, it appears that when the Shield Mage does his consuming all his bullet attack, it also consumes all the Shield Pegs he spent tons of time placing on the board, which uh, is an interesting strategy for sure. Wow. Honestly, I kind of don't want to take either of these. Uh... I guess I do just take duplication potion, but like, yikes. But I would rather not be duplicating my crits, thank you very much. Okay, we get this fight again. Alright, we're a change for person, so we can actually do this time. Nice. Yeah, hitting crits should be easier, which is actually an amazing other thing. We do have uh, two new passives now for this fight. As opposed to last time, which both of which would have made it an improvement from last time. Working together, they don't exactly achieve the best outcome. <laughs> Tad unfortunate, but it is how it is. Anyway, I'm going to be exiting this fight with full heals. Honestly, I'll just skip it. No glamour. I didn't actually full heal that fight just because. Uh... Oh, safety net. That is very tempting for like this shot and then you end. But I think I'll take wall chicken because uh, I like wall chicken. The extra max health it provides is a real. <laughs> Shield mage demon wall. Shield mage demon wall. So, which one's this? <laughs> that is the question, eh? Uh, but yeah, as you might have noticed in the uh, Demon Wall fight there, uh, there were a ton of crits on the board, which is really quite unfortunate. Um, I'll take my opportunity next shot if he's not dead. How about that? I think it's probably reasonably good for puffer shields. Which is something, I guess. Uh, blammo. Extraordinary. <laughs> I need the inverse of that, thank you very much. Oh wow, yeah, no. Sash of Focus. That may actually come in handy, which is not a good thing to be saying. <laughs> Depends on the boss I fight. Uh, but yeah, this should get pretty good damage. It's pretty much AoE as well. Yep. Check that. Stuff. No, all of nothing yet. I would really love an all of nothing because I really need to convert my damage uh, into crit damage if I can't get an unpretentious amulet, which I highly suspect I will not be getting. Demo. Definitely do not attempt to cheese that baby. That dude. Probably not the best words you can use. Um, okay, I still would love an all of nothing, but I do have much more scaling per reload now. So let's just reload many times and then yeah that's probably sufficient that I can just shoot this and if it doesn't hit the crit it kills. If it does hit the crit that's just unfortunate I guess. Boom boom bang. Hot damn. Well, that damage was solid. Alright, let's see what boss we get. Obviously not. No point. First combat healing! Five. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's actually like the best fight for us, so I'm not complaining at all. Circle stack, boom. 
Imagine we like also get refreshed, that'd be pretty cool. Are you dead to uh, AO bombs? No. Unfortunately, I would have loved to get the kill on the shield guy as well. But yeah, this is definitely the fight that we were the best into just because we have a level 2 sphere as long uh, as well as Primer of Frost. Primer of Frost is pretty damn good. So we really need something that says that we can actually use our most circle damage for most circle damage because the one thing I'm scared about for the Demon Wolf fight, because if we can't do that, we are actually in a rough position. Because we do have a ton of most circle scaling, but unfortunately, if we don't have access to it, then it's pretty useless. Intentional. Intentional is nice, but uh, unfortunately doesn't exactly help out with the Demon Wolf fight. Alright, I'll just um, let him eat up. And I think we'll try and absorb some recruits. Alright, good enough for me. Well, the more crits we can hit in the one shot, the better. Because I just need to not be hitting crits. Hit crits first, or maybe not. That is really good damage for a single shot. Yeah, so what was that? 2000 damage in a crit? Good. And when I crit, my damage is decreased by a lot, but actually it's still very. It didn't go down. Ah. Huh. That's cool. Why didn't that go down? Interesting. I appreciate it. Yeah, like that went down. I hope they are or not. Anyway, try and hit as many crits as you can, please. Just get them out of the annoying spots. Yeah, it looked like this was a win. We did have overwhelming scaling, so it's not a surprise, but um, it was in the circle. So it's not scaling, so. It could have been a bit messier. Now, I will give a lot for an unpretentious amulet here, otherwise I am going to need that all or nothing, because I did indeed take a thing which increases the refreshes that I have at the cost of adding a lot of crits, which is definitely an unfortunate downside to have when you're playing Balan specifically, and like sometimes pick on tuition, but I'd say worth it in a lot of scenarios. I'm undoubtedly going to hit that crit. We could just end with it, I guess. Boom, you did. Yep. Nothing there, and no unpretentious. That is unfortunate. Uh, so why do I not take Constricting Chains? I don't think it's Serrati's fate when Constricting the Chains is there. Good stuff. Like, sure we might mess up navigation, but I think we'll be fine. Yes, I was hit. Unfortunately my healing is still quite limited, but luckily the intentional over actually kept me rather healthy that part, which is a horrifying thing to say when you consider how much damage I actually did take. Still. Oh well. I have should have pretty good post-combat healing as well, so we'll make good use of it. Oh, uh single shot. Right. I would have loved double shot because if you look at my cash I have quite a lot of it. Oh I went through. Wow, I thought that was going to fail. For sure, for sure. Assault Totem, well, I guess that's one way I can make good use of my cash, although I really don't need it. Like I said, I would really much, much rather buy all of nothing. Because I'll happily get rid of this trash fear from my deck and just add an all of nothing. Or I can cheese. Unfortunately, I need. Oh, I may have turned down a bad cheese earlier. Oh, that feels bad. I may have turned down a bad cheese earlier. Oh, that's all I don't need. I have to say. Yikes. Yeah, that's, that's not ideal. But that kind of is. So how much do I want to just ditch any cheese opportunities? So many extra crits though. That's... I think I'm going to ignore that for now. I should have an opportunity to pick up one up later if I really want it. So yeah. But obviously it is very decent there. Yeah, 50 damage per shot. Not bad. Uh, 40 damage second <laughs> and the rest uh okay 
So operation when I have a bunch of interesting stuff. Oh, including intentional closing. It doesn't sound tempting to be honest, but I'll pass. All right, shop. So ghost will tax us. Okay, we do not get ghost. Oh, whoops! I'm not meant to shoot shop. I'm meant to discard, get rid, and then shoot. So I'll do that. Discard. Shoot. Good. We're now on cycle, so we take zero damage this fight. <laughs> Man, Railguard is such a best busted passage to have. There are some bosses that it can just completely destroy. Like this is not usually the most fun fight. And the fact that I just get to confidently say that we're not taking any health loss this fight is pretty good. Especially since uh, this guy can be a very big issue. Like a very big issue. This happens in this fight when you have recompopulated chem drain you. As well as like the way his health is built and the pegs on this map, the way how they can hide a refresh, it really doesn't exactly work in your favor. Yeah, I think we should be mostly just full health. Obviously we might lose a bit because it looks like these sappers are doing their thing, but this should be fine. Especially since we're just getting max health from each fight. Bag of orange pegs. Sounds like a yes to me. I don't want him. Sure. I can use this guy this entire fight, can't I? But I won't be because it sounds like a bad idea. Right. Actually, I might. I should, should probably do it now because all of these pegs are like, not anymore. <laughs> I was going to say all of these pegs are unpopped, so going navigating this way is pretty hard. But honestly, I'll just shoot from now. It's fine. Technically, it's probably incorrect, but you know who really cares? One of the funny things about uh, chains as well. Again. It completely removes any need for you to like actually aim your shots. Which is funny. I would love it if you were going the way I wanted you to go. Okay. No free passive for me. How sad. Uh, there's no off shot on shot for these guys. They're just always hitting. But I do have intentional overlay, so uh, their hits are pretty mediocre. Nice. Speaking of which, I have pretty good AoE damage. Just through sheer reef filibuster power. It's a very good passive. Full heal. Incredible. Bastion reaction. But that would have made the thing I took much better. I had advantage. Oh, that's. These are actually really good. Um. I do this. Swap them over. Because that's an order that can actually deal crit damage. Discard the shoot. Uh, yeah, because I do actually have ways to gain finesse now, and my circle gains are quite good. So having a 4 times multiplier on it is decent. I would much prefer to be translating it all over to crit damage, I believe, but you know, we work with what we've got, and Sphere is completely useless for this boss fight in particular. Well, mind you, it will be uh, useless for any boss fight because none of them care when I have Primal Frost. And to be honest, you don't really care about Sphere too much in Square's fight either. Should just be dead. Need to make sure to get the upgrades in this orb as well because it gets much better. Right now, it's definitely not as good as it should be. God damn it. I thought I had something, but I don't, so it's fine. Ah, uh, okay, when I lose my last balance. I mean, Mask of Joy sounds really good, right? When am I losing shield? The thing is, it's kind of hard for me to lose shield, but Mask of Joy affects finesse gain. It's like taking it is just a really good idea. Also, my max health is well boosted. Oh, don't I have both Apple a day and yeah chicken yeah like getting that two spinette there and then multiplying the effect times four that's why i really wanted mask of joy it seems really good here i 
Like this orb is just actually dealing crit damage on Belen, which is crazy. <laughs> So I can destroy you in one shot. 56, 15. What is this? Wait, why was it scaling so fast? I don't even understand. Uh, I could pick this up, and it's actually a good idea to pick it up, but I'm not going to because um, I like having one on my deck. It's much simpler. I just shoot and then it reloads. Alright, duplicate all orbs, sure. No choice in that manner, unfortunately. Oh, and Tinkshot Oboe Prox, that's why I uh, lit up. Uh, I should just shoot now. Are these guys going to get here and they do way more damage than these tiny little plant things. Alright, bang, unfortunately I hit the crit, and my crit damage right now sucks. Please. I mean, look, if you wanted a fight to drain my health just before the boss, this one would be one of the fights to do. This one and Sappers for sure. Right now I have their shots in the wrong time, so let's just change that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much, does it? Oh, why is that no work? Is there still a slime alive? Okay, sure. Anyway, we're just going to be pressing the heal button because we can. Why? What is happening? Wait, Primer of Frost. How is it not piercing? Odd. Oh, no upgrades to be had? And no health to be healed either. <laughs> well, anymore. Alright, so we have a quite good scaling here, mostly of the Berserker variety, which is kind of unfortunate to be honest. But as long as we're hitting our weak pressures. There, okay. It's so cool to know. Like, anyway, that's aiming straight at a refresh. So, uh, Peace of Mind would have actually also been pretty cool. Unfortunately, it was in contention with Mask of Joy, which I think taking Mask of Joy was definitely the right thing. But... Oh well. Am I off cycle? Does this guy have a cycle? No, he just hit you every turn, right? Yeah, that's my fault. Okay, two. I mean, it's not bad, especially since I've got four times more fire on it. Like, one of these days, if I just don't hit a crit. Dead. Like Giga dead. 23 to 2. Yeah. It's just a slight difference, huh? Look at that. So I have no momentum anymore. Oh, come on. I had no momentum. Uh, let's try that. Oh, come on. Oh, well, so I never actually did manage to get off my um, circle crits, and I think I found an all of nothing really early on, but I didn't take it because it wasn't correct to take it when I was building out such a good reload comp. I got a whole bunch of free removes in the start. Um, the bosses in the second phase was really weird. Like just two question mark elites, I'll take it because they were pretty easy fights that just allowed me to heal afterwards. Actually the demon was a bit annoying. It's a lot of backspacing I had to do because he kept hitting me. <laughs> but yeah, really good stuff. Um, Connect me right was decent. And then my second boss passive, uh, Constricting Chains, quite good. Primer of Frost Refillabuster, just absolutely amazing AOE work. And my scaling was also very good, tons of max health and consistent, like Brown Guard is just such an insane passive. It allows you to solve so many bosses 